Hey friends, this is the Miss Avolfi from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're going to make granola in the crock pot. First, what you're going to need is a nice good sized crock pot, and I have sprayed mine with uh, organic avocado oil. You're going to need five to six cups of old fashioned rolled oats. Two thirds of a cup of honey. This is our one of our last bottles of Homestead honey. A half a cup of dried apples. A half a cup of dried raisins. Of course, they're dried. They're raisins. A half a cup of nuts of your choice. We're using broken pecans. A third of a cup of pumpkin seeds. A quarter cup of black sesame street seeds. You can use white if you want. One teaspoon of vanilla. One third of a cup of coconut oil. Now you can use butter if that's your choice. And a tablespoon of vanilla. And a half a cup of our all natural just ground peanut butter. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first. We're going to put our rolled oats, our rolled oats, and our nuts, and our salt. in our crock pot. Now we're going to meet you at the stove. Now we're going to take our peanut butter, our coconut oil and our vanilla, and our two-thirds of a cup of honey. We're going to put these on medium and we're just going to heat this enough to melt them all together. Whoops! I almost forgot our cinnamon. Okay. We just want these melted enough to be liquid. Okay, now we're going to turn our crock pot on high and we're going to cover our oats and nuts and salt with our melted liquid mixture. Keep your dried fruit and nuts aside. Now, we've got this on high and we're just going to stir this all in and we're going to cook it on high for two hours, stirring every half hour. So if you want to be precise, go ahead and set a timer. Stir every half hour. Okay, so here we are, and this smells so good. And now I'm gonna shut the crock pot off and I'm just gonna stir in my dried fruit and seeds. And we'll see you in a bit. Okay, now we're just going to take our granola and we are going to spread it out on our cookie sheet to cool down and get crunchy. Okay, so now our granola is nice and cool and lovely and crunchy and dry. I'm going to store it in a one gallon jar and this is what I love about parchment paper. And hopefully it's strong enough to hold this like three pounds of granola. So I've just got my canning funnel in here. Oh, I think I went overboard a little bit. Now I was able to smash this all down in there. And this is a week's worth of really healthy cereal. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, you don't have to buy grocery store cereals to have a healthy cold breakfast. Take care, God bless. <music>